Hey, what's going on guys? D-Legend here with a different video today. So I wanted to showcase this uh, collaboration event between Final Fantasy Record Keeper and Kingdom Hearts 3's uh, release. So they're doing an event to celebrate KH3's release and they're going to include some rewards for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross um, in this crossover event. So this is kind of like, I don't know if you guys remember, I think it was a gummy ship game. Um, a few... I don't want to say a few years ago, but it was definitely like more than a few months ago, um, probably about a year ago from now. Um, I, I don't remember what the collab was for, but there was a gummy ship game where you played mini games on a browser. So I'm using Google Chrome right now. And um, basically what happens is you collect points as a community. So everybody that plays Final Fantasy Record Keeper can play this game. And everybody that plays Kingdom Hearts Union Cross can play this game. Anybody in general can play this game. So if you have friends that want to play a, a little silly mini game on a mobile browser, browser um, feel free to let them know, and we'll try to collect some points for this uh, these score rewards. So as a community, once we earn these reward ranking brackets, um, we'll be getting the rewards for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross as well as Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Um, so I don't play Final Fantasy Record Keeper, but um, for those of you who do, please let me know if these are um, good rewards or not compared to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross rewards, if you guys play both. Because let me just tell you, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross rewards is right now 10 SIDs, and ten, or 1 SID, 10 metal, and 10 Huey Dewey Louis is garbage. So that's not really incentive at all, but um, it gets better as we go. So the next tier hasn't been announced yet, and they did the same thing with the gummy ship thing, and I'll explain that a bit later on as well, but these brackets will be announced as the time goes by, um, as the event keeps going. And so these are the rewards you will get um, if you hit the second bracket, which is decent. There's 10 chips, 10 dales, which is better than before. Here's where it gets interesting. So you get 200 jewels, um, 5 magic mirrors, and 3 SID 10 medals if you can get the third, if we as a community can get the third bracket there, and then so on and so forth with 300 jewels, 2 silver tickets, and 10 magic metal mirrors, and then the best bracket, which is probably pretty achievable um, with the player base of Final Fantasy Record Keeper and Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, you get 500 jewels, 1 gold ticket, and a Fantasia Mickey B. So the 500 jewel, 100 jewels is probably the best reward out of there, um, as you guys know, jewels are super precious in this game. And super hard to come by, so any free jewels we can get from any collaboration event or anything in general would be fantastic. Um, record keeper rewards would be ten mithril and one shooting star from K or it's a KH shooting star keyblade, I guess weapon. Don't know how that works for Final Fantasy record keeper, but um, it looks like it's a six star weapon, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, let me know if you guys know if these rewards are any good for Final Fantasy record keeper. Um, compared to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and yeah, so these, not going to go through the terms of use or anything, but um, this is what it looks like here, the collab event. I'll probably use this as the thumbnail, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, there's an ad for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross as well, and yeah, let's go ahead and run through one of these, and I will show you guys how to play this game. I played it once right before this recording this video and it wasn't too hard but it wasn't easy if that makes sense I don't know uh, so as I said before there the brackets for rewards will be announced a little later and same with these other levels for the minigame so there's normal hard and extreme so I'm assuming hard and extreme will give you more score and it will allow us to get those last few brackets for the rewards easier than just running normal. Because 3,000 points per run is not very good, so let's try and help out our community here. And if you guys are interested in playing this game, I will leave a link in the description below. So basically what you're going to do is tap where there's enemies. And hopefully... You're basically trying to get all the Heartless before they cross the line there. It's quite silly, I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, it's fun. You can use these little um, bonus things. 
to either slow down enemies or um, deal some better damage, I think. Okay, so they're back to full speed again. And let's use this one, because I haven't used it yet. Wow, that wiped up everybody. That's pretty sweet. And then we have two things left. Let's use those as well, because why not? This seems pretty hard. Alright, Cloud. Oh my... So he takes up an extra spot in your lanes, which is nice. Okay, so Cloud's gone. Oh, we don't get to use the last thing, but... Oh, I messed up. Alright, so that's our final score. Again, it's pretty simple. It's a browser-based game, so you can't really expect much, but it's a nice little thing that they have going on for the collab. Um, hopefully they actually bring some content in-game for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and some content for Final Fantasy Record Keeper if you guys play that game. Um, maybe I'll look into playing it. Who knows? Is it worth playing? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to try to help um, the community get this uh, these score rewards and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the event in general. Um, yeah, for now, that is it. I will catch you all soon. I know you guys, a lot of you guys are wondering how to send Valentine's chocolate messages to each other in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and I will be making a video on that very soon. I'm just waiting for uh, one person to reply so that I can maybe use um, a little thing they typed up already. If not, I'll have to type up something myself so that, because I think it's easier just to show you guys visually um, compared to just talking about it, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens with that, but um, for now, enjoy this video, and enjoy um, what other content is there in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. All the Valentine's Day events, I guess, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to this channel for more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content, as well as some potential Yu-Gi-Oh! content in the near future, and um, other things. Let me know what you guys want to see with mobile games and stuff, and I'll see what I can do. Catch you all soon. Peace. Okay, so I forgot to mention that there actually will be a collaboration event uh, for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So as you can see here, um, the collaboration event will be from February 22nd to uh, March 8th, 2019. So that'll be really interesting to see what happens there, because um, the last Final Fantasy Record Keeper uh, collaboration that we had... Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was another Final Fantasy Record Keeper um, collab. It was really cool, because we got some really good medals. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but Warrior of Light is a fantastic metal. Um, it still is a decently usable metal in PvP and even PvE to an extent, so um, be sure to look out for this collaboration event. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm just interested um, in seeing why um, Square Enix uh, North America and why um, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross hasn't really announced this at all yet. Um, so yeah, there's been no real promotions on this event, from what I understand, at least. Not on their Twitter, not on their... Um, they haven't had any streams recently or anything, so I don't know how they're going to go about announcing this. Maybe they're just waiting for um, Valentine's Day to be over and for this to come out. But, uh, yeah, so there's that. And then the collab event for Final Fantasy Record Keeper is from uh, February 20th to March 6th. So be sure to enjoy these collaboration events. Um, there's usually good things that come with collaboration events. I remember the raid boss was really cool last time around, and we got some free jewels from a jewel quest event. I think it was like 3,000 jewels or something like that, so um, be sure to look out for those. And also, I forgot to mention, there will be Zigbar coming out tonight, um, and I will probably be making a video on that tomorrow morning, if I can wake up on time before school. So, um, we'll see what happens, and yeah, this is the end of the video for sure. Um, I will catch you all soon. Peace out, guys.